Role-playing games have always been quite popular with players who are fans of the genre since the days of games such as Dungeons & Dragons, Dragon Quest, Final Fantasy, Fantasy Star, the Mana series, Chrono Trigger, Elder Scrolls, and so on. There were also games with so much potential which unfortunately were unfulfilled despite their popularity they could have had a series like Legend of Dragoon and Legend of Legaia. The PS3, however, had an RPG that has a following among its fans. It was an RPG title that allowed players to not just play in story mode, but do online side quests to level up their characters, obtain special items, and meet people online as well. That game was White Knight Chronicles. Upon its release, the game received positive reviews with a few criticisms as well, just like any other video game. But then after its re last release, there were no news for a brand new game and the online servers have gone down ever since. Still, there are those who loved it and still play the game to this day. With all this said and done, this is The Rise and Fall of White Knight Chronicles. White Knight Chronicles was developed by Level 5 and SCE Japan Studio and published by Sony Computer Entertainment from the very game companies that brought you games such as Rogue Galaxy, Dragon Quest IX, and Jean d'Arc. White Knight Chronicles was released originally in Japan on Christmas of 2008 and finally arriving to the States on February 2, 2010. This game was demoed on the Tokyo Game Show 2007 and depicted larger enemies in size. In one piece of content artwork, a massive turtle-like creature is depicted carrying an entire city on its back. This RPG game also had online gaming in which players could create their own town, make friends, and complete certain side quests to obtain brand new items, level up, and weapons as well. Our story begins in the Kingdom of Balandor, where the Princess Cisna is having a coming-of-age banquet. Leonard, the main protagonist, Yuli, his childhood friend, and the Avatar are tasked with delivering wine for the party. Once the delivery is completed, they decide to stay for the party, until it is raided by an evil organization known as the Magi. In the midst of the incident, King Valtos, father of Cisna, is killed by a knight in black armor, causing the princess to regain her voice. Leonard then takes her to safety in the castle underground where they find a giant suit of armor known as Incorruptus a strange gauntlet called the Ark. Leonard merges with the armor becoming a white knight and destroys a giant monster, but Cisna is captured by the Magi. And so our heroes, along with a humble traveler named Eldor, go on a journey to rescue the princess and stop the Magi. Players start the game by creating their own avatar who accompanies Leonard and his friends. Players can freely choose which character to control like in most RPGs, players can gain experience points and level up, becoming stronger over the course of the game. Like in Soul Blazer, players can select locations on the world map that the player has already visited to go instantly along with a preview of the area. Each of these areas also has quests that players have yet to complete, or they can choose to go on with the quest and do the subquest later. The battle system is similar to that of Final Fantasy XII, and in this game, Magic is essential, and players can equip swords, axes, bows, daggers, spears, staffs, and two-handed longswords. Players can select skills from weapons and magic, and they can also create their own techniques as well. By leveling up, they gain skill points to raise their skills. White Knight Chronicles had online gameplay upon its release. The game features the Georama system, an online mode in which players can create their own town. It can function as a lobby and allows the player to set up a shop, which people can go in and take a look around. With this system, players can do subquests where they can play with their online friends, and it's not easy to obtain all trophies in this game. The online multiplayer can be played up to 4 players, but 12 people can visit a customized town. In this game, players start by creating their own avatar, during character creation, players can choose the character's height, weight, gender, and colors of their eyes, hair, and skin. 
Once the avatar is created, they meet the main characters in the beginning of the game. Once players obtain the arc, Leonard can transform into the White Knight when his ability meter is either halfway filled or completely. Most enemies can be smaller, but others can be incredibly large, which means that it takes a lot of hits to take them down. Plus, players can learn skills with the weapons they can equip, as well as the magic abilities. They can control either their avatar or one of the characters, while the AI controls the others. If players want to take a break from story mode, they can go online and play with friends. Akihiro Hino is not the only director, producer, and writer of the game. He is the lead designer, and he did an amazing job with the graphics and the CGI movie sequences that create a fascinating world that is different from games like Dragon Quest, Final Fantasy, and so on. This game is presented in a third-person perspective. Takeshi Inoue, Yumiko Hashisume, and Oriyasu Agematsu are the main composers of the game. The music in some parts of the game, like the world map, boss battles, and some areas are pretty well composed, but some of the songs were not as epic and catchy at all. The sound effects, though, were packing a punch during fight sequences, scenarios, and so on. The story was very well thought and has average replay value. This game has its epic, sad, and funny moments as well. Transforming into the White Knight was a great experience in which after leveling up enough, Leonard as a White Knight can learn new and powerful techniques. Despite the lukewarm reviews, the game sold 130,000 copies on its first day and over 270,000 in Japan in its first week. Reviewers criticized the multiplayer as disappointing, but praised the main game and designs as well. White Knight Chronicles 2 is a direct sequel to the first game which was originally released in Japan on July 8, 2010. The game arrived on American shores on September 13, 2011. This game allowed players to transfer their avatar, money, equipment, and guild ranks to the second game. The second game also contained a remastered version of the first game. The story of the game continues the adventures of Leonard, Yuli and Eldor as they tried to stop the East Iranian Empire from taking over the world. Some old friends and allies make a comeback in the story. The story of the game also involves time travel such as going back to the past. However, players begin with a brand new character named Skardine before they can play as Leonard and his friends. The gameplay is very similar to that of the first game. However, there are new features in the game such as the Avatar having an Incorruptus and becoming a Knight. Other changes include the introduction of battle system, mechanics, combos, armor, and weapons to make. Like in the previous title, save points can be used to access the Georama to play online, repair weapons and armor, heal, and so on. According to reviewers, these are the positives. Massive amount of continent, the battle system improved, and online gaming is where the game comes into its own. The negatives of the game were that solo play was monotonous, story was a flop, and recycled dungeons were too numerous. The game received mixed reviews, some gave it a low score, others gave it a more or less positive approach. Other negatives include that the player's allies can go from competent to useless from time to time. White Knight Chronicles Origins is a prequel to the first game that was released in Japan on February 3rd, 2011 on the PlayStation Portable. The game was later released on Europe on June 8th, the next day in New Zealand and Australia, and finally on June 10th in the United Kingdom and Ireland. Unfortunately, there was no American release. The story of the game takes place 10,000 years before the events of the first game. It is a period of strife known as the Dotma Wars. This struggle is between the Ishranian Empire who are harnessing the power of the knights in a bid to conquer the world, and the Afwani Mage Kingdom who are trying to stop them. These events would shape the history to come in the White Knight Chronicles saga, and White Knight Chronicles Origins tells the story of the unsung heroes who lived through this period of unrest only to be forgotten in the annals of time.
The game setting sends a player character up to the Mobile Corps, a mercenary organization that operates via train. Traversing into the no man's land between Afwin and Ishrania, the player is set into a world of shuddering battles between hulking warriors. Rattling across the vast plains that separate two sworn foes is the special steam train that acts as central hub. Through this hub, the player has access to missions as they become available and spend earned grace points on new equipment. When the trusty mobile core train rolls into a new excited location, the player selects a team of three skilled mercenaries to accompany and stride out into the unknown. The player can add carriages to it to make room for new characters. Plus, if the player's own White Knight Chronicles 2 on PlayStation 3, they can transfer data between the two games and receive special bonuses about the train. The battle system of this game is also identical to its console counterparts. Before a battle, the player optionally goes into the battle preparation menu and chooses up to three sets of five commands for your in-game avatar. This set of commands is called a function palette, and several of these palettes can be saved, making tactical palette preparing and switching essential to the game. The commands can also be linked in order to create combos. These can then be used in battle. The player controls one of the characters while the others are controlled by the AI. As also seen in the previous games, the main character possessed the ability to transform into a mighty Optimus, a powerful warrior with heightened defenses and a range of thunderous attacks. Along with teammates who can do the same, the players form a war machine capable of shredding even the fiercest beasts. Reviews for this game were mixed to positive. Much like its console counterparts, the game can also be played both online and offline. Although it is known that the first game and the prequel received mixed to positive reviews, the second game however might have taken down any chances for a third game. For the way the second game ended, it is nothing more than a cliffhanger now. There are fans of this game that prayed for this game to be remastered on the PS4, but unfortunately that was just not going to happen. Some fans hope for a new game that can fix what the second game messed up. Others may hope for a reboot or a revival. Many consider the second White Knight Chronicles video game to be a massive flop and therefore the downfall of what could have been a potential great series that could have been as popular as RPG titles like Elder Scrolls, Final Fantasy, Dragon Quest, and so on. White Knight Chronicles may have died as a potential series, but it lives on as a cult classic for the PS3 era. Two more episodes left for Season 1 Reboot. Be sure to comment, hit that like button, Subscribe and hit that bell button. This is John of Video Games in the World signing off. And thanks for watching, everybody.